Hello and welcome to this learning video. Here in this learning video, we are going to take problems on property number 5 that is division by t property. So let us see the problem on that property number 5. So this says find Laplace transform of cos 18 minus cos bt by t and hence evaluate this. So how many parts? We have two parts to solve here. So let us concentrate on the first part. We have to find out Laplace transform of cos AT minus cos BT upon T. That we have to find out. Okay. So we can find out with the help of the property. So you can start with property only solution. By the property if you want you can write by the division by t property we have what we have Laplace transform of f of t upon t is equal to what is it integration s to infinity f of s ds right so this is what we have now we have to find out Laplace transform of f of t upon t. So what is my f of t here? Here uh, f of t is equal to cos a t minus cos b t. This is my f of t. So what is f of s then? So my f of s is equal to Laplace transform of this. So this is uh, s upon s square plus a square minus s upon s square plus b square okay now let's say this is to be one so one imply one imply laplace transform of f of t what is f of t cos a t minus cos b t upon t is equal to what is it integration s to infinity integration s to infinity f of s this is my f of s s upon s square plus a square minus s upon s square plus b square ds <coughs> so this is same as uh, this integration you can easily found out what is s square plus a square what is, it, what is its derivative 2s so just multiply by 2 and divide by 2 multiply by 2 divide by 2 okay now integrate integrating this by using the formula f dash of x upon f of x so this is log of mod of f of x so i am taking 1 by 2 outside of this so this is 1 by 2 common from both so log of s square plus a square minus log of s square plus b square okay limit okay so we have just uh, done with this s to infinity so apply the uh, laws of logarithm which is log a minus log b is log of a by b so this is log of s square plus a square upon s square plus b square limit s to infinity right now solving this this is laplace transform of cos a t minus cos b t upon t is equal to what is it 1 by 2 <coughs> now when you apply here the uh, this limit okay so it is like 1 by 2 log of limit as s tends to infinity s square plus a square upon s square plus b square this is upper limit minus lower limit in place of s you have to write s so this is log of same thing s square plus a square upon s square plus b square right now now let me solve this uh, limit as uh, this 
so when you apply this is a problem of indeterminate form so this is limit as s tends to infinity a square plus a square upon a square plus b square is same as infinity by infinity so differentiate it so limit uh, apply l hospital rule s to infinity this is 2s upon 2s this get cancel 1 so answer is 1 right so for the time being i am writing like this but from the very next example i will write whenever there is infinity and something like that i will put it as log 1 so this is 1 by 2 into log of what is its when you apply limit to this log 1 minus this is log of a square plus a square upon a square plus b square okay limit what is it limit okay we have already applied log 1 is 0 so this is 1 by 2 now this is minus so the property of log you can apply <laughs> this can be 0 minus log of a square plus a square upon a square plus b square okay so you can apply the property of log and you can write log of minus you can remove and just uh, take the reverse of this log of a square plus b square upon a square plus a square this is my laplace transform of f of t by t okay say uh, this is to be <coughs> Let me write here is equal to 1 by 2 log of a square plus b square upon a square plus a square. And uh, I have found out this example in most of the competitive examination because uh, uh, it's confusing. Just because of this minus sign, we write a square plus b square upon a square plus a square, but uh, people just uh, uh, forget about this minus sign and they just write a square plus a square by a square plus b square and there is an option present like this okay so they uh, take the uh, incorrect answer so please take care of this thing now this is just the half part now let us see the second part so what is the second part you see there <coughs> what is the second part so the second part is uh, we have to evaluate that integral. So let me take a second part. So let me take that integral to be i. So let i is equal to integration 0 to infinity cos at minus cos bt upon t dt. Okay what we have just found out okay by the definition by the definition of laplace transform we write what we write we write laplace transform of cos at minus cos bt upon t so you can write this one laplace transform of this as integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st cos at minus cos bt upon t dt is it okay now you just look at this equation 1 and this equation 2 okay so what you one can write from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 or let me write it uh, very nicely or systematically instead of this I can directly write it uh, like this integration 0 to infinity e to the power sorry cos at minus cos bt upon t dt okay for s is equal to 0 so if i put s is equal to 0 i will be getting this right so say this is to be now okay so this is s is equal to 0 
right is it okay so either you can do like this or the other thing that you can do is uh, it other way around you can also do say this is to be 2 and you can write here from 1 and 2 that was the one thing from 1 and 2 we get from 1 and 2 what we get i is equal to i is equal to laplace transform of cos a t minus cos b t upon t is same as this okay is same as this integration 0 to infinity cos a t minus cos b t upon t dt for s is equal to 0 okay and we have Laplace transform of this just yes, we have found out so you can write it as 1 by 2 <coughs> log of a square plus b square upon a square plus a square at s is equal to 0. So what is it? This is 1 by 2 log of what is it? 0 0 b by a whole square. So this is b by a whole square. So this is log of b by a. Okay, because when you take this 2 to the power, 2 and 1 by 2 get cancelled. So, value of this comes out to be log of b by a. Right? Simple. Very simple. Okay. So, this is what we have in this learning video. So, one problem we have taken. In the very upcoming video lecture, we will be taking one more problem on this. To make the idea more clear and uh, that's it so thank you for watching and keep learning thank you